We all know the power of what it feels like to be seen in the content we consume, and that's why we're so proud to continue our partnership with See Her. As a leading global movement to eliminate gender bias in marketing and media, See Her works with industry leaders to ensure that women and girls are authentically represented and reflected. CBS is proudly committed to this important movement with a segment we call See Her Lead the Way because if you can see her, you can be her. That's right. Today's story features two high school students, Kelsey Johnson and Nakia Jackson, who are making mathematical history. Take a look at this from CBS station WWL-TV. It takes a special kind of student to outsmart 2,000 years of mathematicians. At St. Mary's Academy, they have two. It's an unparalleled feeling, honestly, because there's just nothing like it, being able to do something that people don't think that young people can do. Kelsey Johnson and Nakia Jackson just give a presentation at the American Mathematical Society's annual Southeastern Conference. They say they've proven that Pythagoras' theorem can be proved without circular trigonometry. And it might not surprise you to hear that they were the only high schoolers in the room. You don't see kids like us doing this. Oh, I do, I do. I'm, for me, I, I've always felt, I've always listened to everyone, whether it's from a young child to anyone, because you never know what type of perspective someone can give you. Mm -hmm. They can just see, see things completely different. And I love, they're so inspirational in what, what they did. I wish they were around when I failed Algebra, algebra 2 Trig <laughs> in high school. Oh Had a little PTSD. Seriously. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. I think sometimes we look at history as being something old, but Bobby Fischer was 15 when he became a chess grandmaster. Um, the Freedom Riders were teenagers. Um, Malala was, uh, won a Nobel Prize at 17. Mozart was nine when he composed his first symphony. Mary Shelley was 18 when she wrote Frankenstein, and Joan of Arc was only 17 when she was leading armies. So I think if we just wow. look at wow. the fact that there are young people that can do it. We just need to give them the platform and the support yes. to be yes. able to do it, yes. you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And not have fear, just be fearless. Absolutely, yes. yeah. I, um, I live with two 14-year-olds who desperately need the help of those two young ladies. <laughs> I pay well. Get over <laughs> and tutor them, please. No, I'm so proud of those two. That's yeah. so great. Yeah, look absolutely. At them Oh Absolutely. I, I, you know, I was so inspired by um, yesterday's guest, Maggie Grout, in, yes. at 15, starting Thinking Huts and everything yeah. that she's been doing. I mean, it's incredible what teenagers can do. Without a doubt. Any math going on with, with your kids these days? The only math that's going on is me Googling how to do fourth grade math. <laughs> <laughs> I, I truly have not, I, I don't know how they do it anymore. It's different than yeah. when we did it. <laughs> and don't you think it also shatters that notion that young girls can't do math, that yes. they can. Yeah. These young girls are proving that they and can. They're and they're doing it. And they're doing it. On the highest level. Well, for more information on the See Her campaign, go to thetalk.com.